A powerful 5.9 magnitude earthquake shook eastern Afghanistan overnight, causing homes of much brick and cinder block to collapse over sleeping families, adding a new emergency to a country that has already endured much suffering. The Taliban state run news agency reported more than 920 people were killed and more than 600 more injured. The cited the deputy state minister for natural disaster management, Mawlavi Sharfuddin Muslim. It was not possible to immediately confirm that number because the earthquake hit remote areas. Giving a sense of the scale of destruction, the Bakhtar News Agency uploaded the video of an unnamed man whose cell phone swung around to catch homes crumbling in the morning light. I am doing this video to show that all people here are under the building, he says. Under that house, five people, this house, six people. He turns to another pile of rubble and in this house, 13 dead bodies still under, he says. Swinging his camera further up the hill, he says, all the village completely is destroyed. An image shared by the news agency showed men extracting what appeared to be a small body wrapped in a blanket out of the rubble. One man lighting the scene with what appeared to small flashlight clenched between his teeth. A later video showed men lying on journey amid the rubble. The hardest hit areas were remote farming villages in the eastern Afghan province of Paktika and Post, so remote that Afghan authorities dispatched seven helicopters and a medical team to help with the rescue mission. Those provinces border the rugged mountains of northwest Pakistan. A legislator who represents one of those neighboring Pakistani districts, Mohsin Dawar, shared images with NPR that Short homes strewn in piles of rubble. He says so far it was unclear what happened to the men, women, and the children who had been sleeping in them. Taliban officials expressed their condolences and called on Afghans to help each other, and many are doing so. The Afghan Red Cross and Society said on Twitter that it was dispatching aid to affected areas. Men have turned up in neighboring unaffected areas to donate blood at local medical centers, said UNICEF Afghanistan communication chef Samantha Mort. She said the United Nations agency was also helping. We have got people on the ground who are distributing blankets and hygiene kits. We have got several mobile health and nutrition teams on the way to administer first aid to those who are injured.